Yes, yeah, so let's talk about social media. Oh, so, so you have a new movie. I have a new movie that's called Linked that is all high school kids, and um, it's a lot like Scream. But basically what's happening is kids are posting these videos uh, just like they do on the TikTok. Mm -hmm. And um, and like one kid is, is more like showing prank videos and like fake murders and stuff until one of them is real. That's a good concept. Yeah. Wait, did and you already make this film? No, we're going to shoot it like in You're February. So I'm thinking like I want to cast some people, obviously some seasoned actors. Like I already have Jessica Belkin, uh, who I'm a big fan of, who played my daughter in the Lifetime movie just six weeks ago, and then the film I shot over the summer, Reboot Camp. Yes. She's uh, She's got a great part in that. Um, so I already want to put her in one of the parts. I want to put Isaac in, maybe Mackenzie, if, uh, if she'll do it. So I'm already talking to her manager about getting her the script. Yeah. And so like, but I also want to find like some of these TikTokers, mm -hmm. you know, who are those people to get them in. So I'm, I'm calling it research. I love yeah. that. Wait, what age range are you looking for? We can go on TikTok right now and look at all the I'm, big stars. I mean, they gotta they gotta be legit looking seventeen and like like oh. seventeen, eighteen. Yeah. And so as long as they're emancipated, um, eighteen to play seventeen, anywhere in there, okay, um, I can hire them and not, not have to worry, worry about tutors and all that stuff. Yeah, I feel like is, kids is it's hard. So if you go on, t so you have TikTok. Yes. So if oh, you want to scout, <laughs> now, there's like a main page. Here. I'm a little nervous about how this. <laughs> Okay. How this algorithm works, uh -huh. and here's why. Okay. <laughs> um, so my friend Seth, who's gay, uh -huh. right? He's like, I got here. He's the one who first told me, like, because he knows about the film. He's like, you got to get on this. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the app that the kids use should be a hybrid between TikTok and Instagram. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, what's TikTok? Okay. Okay. So, so he's getting guys half naked, like ripped. Dancing on TikTok. On TikTok. Yeah, that's his. And follow. I go on, and all I'm getting are young hot girls dancing. Really? And I'm like, how does it know to send you the guys <laughs> and send me the girls? Why does it know this? It's so smart. And I'm very scared. No, can I tell you? It's smart like that. It sends me. Like, I'm into musicals, so all I see is people performing, like, Beetlejuice on Broadway, which is, like, my thing. And I'm like, how do they know that this is what I love? Because I'm not following the stars of Broadway, so maybe it just knows. Also, on Instagram, you follow Hot Girl, so I think it, it all ties in. That's why I see the people you Who follow. Who are the <laughs> owners of TikTok? I think it ties in with Instagram. I feel like it's a foreign country, and this is how they're taking over. I really, they might. I feel like, like we're doomed. Because the people you follow on Instagram, I could see why that would be, because I was like, okay, <laughs> you, you follow, follow, yeah, I do. Well, oh, like God. back in a couple of years ago, I was like weirdly obsessed with you and I would look, I'd be like, because you blocked me. And I was like, why did he block me? But he's following all these that, girls. I had a lunatic ex girlfriend <laughs> who literally like grabbed me. It's like, she, I was like, I'm blocking people you shouldn't be following. I'm like, uh, okay, take my phone. Why would you say, okay, anyways. I know. That, oh my God. Unhealthy like, relationship. Unhealthy. I'm, I Look, I've been single for almost three years since that relationship. Really? Yeah. Good for you. I feel like you've always gone from girlfriend to girlfriend. Like I've known you now 13 years and you're always with someone I new. I was so traumatized from that last really? relationship yes. and I'm just like I'm just being so careful now before I because when I'm in it I give everything you right. know I just want that person to be happy and I give every inch of my maybe soul maybe that's the problem you give too much uh yeah balance you know? next time and you can get taken advantage like that and then it's like you know especially with what I do for a living right it's so easy for a girl to seem like secure and okay with you for the first few months and then like the insecurities <laughs> just come flying, mm -hmm. especially when she's got a drinking problem or something like mm -hmm. that. And then it's just, it it gets nasty. Mm -hmm. And and eventually I was just like, I deserve better than this. And I, I got out of it. But like, I just, I picked her so, all so the- So sorry about that. You she know. Blocked, she, not just you. She blocked literally every woman that sent me a message. That's so funny. Yeah, no, I feel like now I'm just thinking about the comments that are going to come your way to your DMs being like, well, Trisha's one of those crazy bitches. Because that's also <laughs> me in every relationship. Like, but they, that's just a relationship. My friendships, I'm pretty good. If I have like a weird friendship, but it's like- Whatever. You've been a good friend with me. You have never been crazy with me. Yeah. So, you know. Well, I mean. One time. <laughs> there's moments. No, one. But, so, but, and I always felt really bad. And I still, t I told that story once and I felt so bad. I was like, oh my God, I was a crazy person. Okay. So anyways, let's go to TikTok. Let's go to stuff that we do know about. So okay. this is, so this is the homepage is the one that keeps making the noise. As soon as you click there is where you're going to see all the top TikTok stars. I follow all the top TikTok stars. And I would say this is the girl you need. If you can get her, you're going to get anyone on TikTok. It's, um. Oh my god, where? Oh, here she is. Lauren Gray. Do you oh. know her? Have you heard of her? She's the biggest TikTok star. Oh. 35 well, million followers. Maybe I've added her. I don't know. Because I've started to look for the big ones. Um, well, all you have to I'll do for up. the big ones is here. It's going to play I noise. Go home? Yeah. So you just. Oh. Who's that? <laughs> I don't know. But it is just like this a hot girl. This is all I get. All I get are hot girls. It's just. It's, <laughs> 
<laughs> and honestly, there, I, I'm starting to feel like a little nervous. Like what? What is this saying about me? You gotta be me? careful because you don't know how old those girls are I'll, either. I am petrified. You're like I, I did, no yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. So and it's just like look, it just one after another. It's just there it is. Wow! Hockey. Wow! And look at this. I okay. Don't, I don't know what that move is, but it's impressive. That's weird because mine's not like that. Her I have foot, like weird people. Her foot is over the head. Wow! Wow! Isn't that. Is that amazing? So you love this? Do you like go and study? Uh, I'm just trying to see who's got a, like a lot of followers who seems to be like an it so, girl for TikTok and then yeah. like you know at some point I'm going to reach out through casting and and bring them in because you know I want this to be legit. I want this to feel like like this is that world. And I think too with social media stars like we have this like craving to like be in like mainstream like mainstream people are able to like I don't know it's just like YouTube and social and digital is huge and I think it's bigger than mainstream at the moment especially TV like we get more a lot People in general get more views. My friend Shane gets 27 million views per video. Like no TV show wow. gets that. You know what I mean? Like, so I think we're at this like level. This other guy I know, David Dobrik, gets 10 million views every single day per video. My monthly views are like 30 million. You know what I mean? So I think like it's bigger than mainstream. However, we still want to feel legitimized by mainstream. So I think you could probably get anybody you wanted because if you're in a mainstream movie like Liza Koshy or any of those people, you're more like legitimate. Well, I was going to put you in the I know. camp. But I, you had this little music tour going on. I know. I had a tour. Well, it was a big <laughs> music tour. Um, but no, yeah, I was, I was first of all, really shocked because we hadn't talked for a while and I didn't know it was going to be like an actual like part. I'm also very self-conscious about acting because I've been offered movie roles before and I'm very self-conscious. I know you're an acting teacher, but I don't think I could. I don't, I think I'm too self-conscious. I'm known for being messy and crazy and sexual. Like, it I don't would, think I could tone it down. It's exactly what I would... I would just wanted you to be you. Like, really? the whole beauty of Shit. this movie, and I cannot wait for people to see this. We're in post-production right now. Is it's... I'm playing, like, a self-help guru that, you know, there's all these documentaries on Netflix now. You got the Bikram mm -hmm. one. Have you seen this that just mm -hmm. came out? Yeah. Where mm -hmm. you like, raped all these women. Yeah, that one's insane. crazy. Yeah. So you got him. You got Holy Hell about the French guy who's got a cult here. You've got... Uh, oh, wild, wild country about the Indian oh. guy that came over and started a cult. That one was crazy. Right? They're all crazy. And then and then you have the, the little less crazy, but still like crazy, like Tony Robbins and the other guy. And it's like the huge following. I haven't seen those either. They're all on, on the Netflix. Wow. Yeah. So, on the Netflix. On the Netflix. The Netflix, the TikTok. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> it's just called TikTok. No, the. Put it on the line. Okay. <laughs> 